there's no shortage of Hollywood stars who don't shine quite as brightly as they used to. But sometimes the fall from grace is especially dramatic. One day they're superstars, and the next, they can't find work at all. Here's a look at five actors Hollywood won't cast anymore. Mel Gibson There was a time when Mel Gibson was considered one of the most bankable and reliable superstars in Hollywood. And then in 2010, he lit his career on fire with an infamous meltdown that mixed racism and sexism in unlikely new ways. His list of credits after that unfortunate episode is filled with embarrassing projects for a former leading man. Bloodfather, The Expendables 3, Machete Kills, Get the Gringo, and, of course, The Beaver. You'll never win. It's a good thing Gibson has a second career as a director to fall back on because his career as an actor seems to have gone over the cliff. Eddie Murphy Early on in his career, Eddie Murphy was one of the biggest stars in the world. His stand-up was hilarious, movies like Beverly Hills Cop and 48 Hours were certified hits. And when the live-action roles dried up, he reinvented himself as a voice actor in blockbusters like Mulan and Shrek. But that was a long, long time ago. His last mainstream feature film was 2012's critically reviled A Thousand Words, which scored a truly impressive 0% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Is it any wonder Hollywood has tossed him out on his ear? Hey! Mike Myers Mike Myers has more than a few classic comedies under his belt, including Austin Powers, Wayne's World, and the Shrek franchise. But in 2008, he released The Love Guru, a flatly unfunny, borderline racist comedy that bombed at the box office and was savaged by critics. Since then, he has just one live-action role to his name, a minor cameo from a few years ago in Inglorious Bastards. Now that's a kind of kick in the pants, huh? Cameron Diaz the pinnacle of Cameron Diaz's career took place from 1998 to 2002, when she starred in smashes such as There's Something About Mary, being John Malkovich, and, you guessed it, Shrek. Noticing a trend here? Anyway, she seemed poised to become America's comedy sweetheart, but that didn't exactly happen. Instead, she appeared in a series of creative and financial disasters, hitting bottom in 2014 when she appeared in three consecutive disappointments – Annie, Sex Tape, and The Other Woman. She's laid low ever since. Halle Berry When Halle Berry won the Academy Award for Best Actress in 2002 for her role in Monsters Ball, she made history by being the first African-American woman to earn that distinction. At the time, she was also playing Storm in the X-Men franchise, which was amazingly successful and the predecessor to a new age in blockbusters. Then, Catwoman happened, and it's all been downhill since. In 2014, she tried to reinvent herself as a TV star with Extant, but that failed as well. Maybe someone will give her a part in Shrek 5? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.